questions, I guess. Okay. I don't know what flag, you know flag. What? These are all empty. So, so you can... Yeah. Yes. Flag like this time before go to the flag. Can we come in? Yeah. Come on in. All right. Call the meeting to order. All right, first uh, agenda item. Discuss and take action to approve necessary 4K community partnership no, criteria. Yeah. Okay, I'll just wash the cards. I took a look at it, and the only two things that I had questions about um, number three um, on the front. I was wondering if you wanted to talk about collaborating with them to do the parent, or if it would be each individual site doing their own. And I didn't know if there was any. Um, well, um, the, we have to have 87.5 hours together. So um, it, it, we could do it several ways. We could do it where each site has to do that, or they could offer a variety at their site, but then everyone in the 4K has to be able to attend their events. So they would have to prepare them for that volume. So I'm not quite sure. I think that could be something that we could talk about. Sure. Yeah. Some of them might, some of those hours might be collaborative, you know, mm -hmm. if we had like a, say, a guest speaker or something. Sure. That maybe we even have it at the elementary, one of the elementaries. So I don't and know, then some could be their own. Yeah. You know, just uh -huh. about that, you know, something may be collaborative or something like that to reflect mm -hmm. it. Because okay. I, if I was reading that, I think I had to produce all that on my own and they make a difference. And the 87.5 hours, it really there's a huge criteria like even like any kind of brochures that get sent home, monthly newsletters, sure. that kind of stuff counts for so much time. Okay. So it does sound yeah. like a lot, but it, you know, you can work it out. Right. If there's an event after school or an open house or parent-teacher conferences or any of those things are also in that um, amount of hours, but I certainly understand what you're saying. And then the only um, second one was in the number of students under the standards. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one just didn't know if um, we had, a, you know, how many we needed to be in there in order to make it. Like, we wanted to put some money minimum in there, or, you know, minimum needed in order to make it mm -hmm. happen. That was my only question. Well, the the question there really is, um, um, in in my mind, like I would think you would want to have a teacher and an aide in any situation with four year olds. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if one needs something, bathroom. Sure. Emerging, you know, right, hurt themselves in any way or having some kind of, sure. uh, you know, emotional. But I know there was a minimum amount to make right. it happen. Right. We kind of talked about. So that would right. have to be Last a discussion. Time. Right. Right. I mean, in our 4K right now, we have, I believe, 21 students with a teacher and. An right, but I didn't know like if we need 15 in order for a site to be able to have. Be uh, to be eligible, or if you know, if we have a certain number we want to set, or we, I think we should. Um, I mean, I would like to hear you weigh in on this, but I'm thinking that we should look at how many students are interested in that and not put that right in here yet. Okay, because we can offer a contract if we have an amount that we find when we get actual numbers in and extra dollar amounts then we could say, okay, we're willing to offer you this contract because you have this many students, and maybe we could firm that up at that time. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's how I, you know, that's what I can advise. I'd be nervous to put, you know, 15 or 18 or something to just... Sure. Then all of a sudden they have 12. Right. right. No, so when, when, you know, I mean, for the most part, the economics of it should probably we'll right. end up dictating whether or not they want to do it, but I think also having a number in there where we feel it's worthwhile mm -hmm. doing it with them. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't have two kids, so we're going to establish all this for yeah. for that type of situation. So your approach is going to be to ask first who is interested in it, come up with the number of people you think are interested in it, and then offer it on the contract. Right. Not the other way around, which is how many minimum do you think you need to make it sustainable? I think 18. <clears throat> right. I mean, if you're going to put a teacher and an aide in there, that's a lot of dollars in there, so I don't think you can, I mean, that's a determination. Well, what you're saying, though, you're saying class rule is limited to 18 per room, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what you're saying is you have to be at the max capacity right off the bat to even do it? Maybe we want to say class enrollment is, um, I mean, what do you suggest? Limited with a minimum of 
but I would suggest class you enrollment uh, minimum is 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is a. Because uh, you said what? Right now we have 21 in ours. Mm -hmm. This is a, a more of a document saying this is what we need from you. What we right. need as a document for them saying what do they require of us. Mm -hmm. It is obviously it's a two-way street on that. Right. Maybe you should have that as a item on the back here. What are your requirements to us? Well, and I have a letter ready to go out, so okay. as soon as these are set, then I'm going to send it out to all of the, um, it's ready to roll tomorrow, uh, so that they have time to look at it, and they're invited in for a meeting, um, I don't remember the date, but uh, I think it's the Thursday, the 9th, um, so that they can ask, so we can have a conversation about mm -hmm. it, and they can ask questions, and, and then they have time to give us a tentative thought by the end of that week, which is prior to then the next week. Uh, committee meeting. Yeah, we think having a secure building. Okay. I would uh, anticipate also the funding in here. I don't know of any business person that would want to go with a three time a year funding. I would think you'd want a monthly funding. I mean, you're paying your teachers, you're paying your staff, you're paying for facilities. Uh, limiting them to it's one thing to limit uh, paying the high school for special ed because high school can float millions of dollars, but it's a different thing to limit a small business that's providing all that up front and waiting in the rears on that. So That was taken directly from some other district contracts because right. of how we get funding. And yeah. we see if they have any concerns about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it might have to do with startup costs that we might have to mm -hmm. consider so we, we can fun. start right. them out differently. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think we can prepay. No. You know no. what I mean? But they may be concerned about the startup costs. Yeah, I'm interested. Startup costs. I'm interested in how frequently they re will require payment and how much. I mean, that's going to be the next well, be question they're going to have. Students, is, fixed mm -hmm. cost, right? Well, right yeah. But it's not in here. So I'm, I'm saying that's going to yeah. be their next big question: right. is how much am I going to get? Per right. Day? And in my letter, I'm saying this isn't a commitment. This is a, yeah. a, a interest level. Right. So that you want to continue to the journey and see if you're offered a contract or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's just a beginning of uh, dialogue sure. now. Okay. Looks well, like a pretty good start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I had said, secure buildings, I visited three of them last week. One of them was secure, I had to buzz me in, the other two I walked right in. Okay. I'll so I don't that. know what's your the board's opinion on that. Do we want to have a secure site like we do here where you have to get buzzed in? I don't know if that makes sense mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll add that in. Current insurance uh, limits right now. Oh, one million. Oh, we have riders on top of that. All right. You're comfortable with this insurance? That was um, based on what some other districts offer. All right. Or expect that we should say offer. What some other districts expect. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to be a set excessive, but I want to make sure we're covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. I had some questions. All right. Yeah, I'd say that was one of the mm -hmm. ones I had was the insurance ones. Mm -hmm. I'll put something out here that this is, you know, well, a beginning, like to, you know, dialogue. About. Ask our insurance person to mm -hmm. give us their input to see what they want for an offsite. Okay. That would be a good idea. Yes. Is there anything more on the 4K partnership criteria? Do we need a motion to accept that? No, I think we're okay. No, just a criteria. Okay. Just want to make sure. It's not a contract or anything right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for putting that together yep. for us. Now you're going to send that out. So yep. we should have info back on that fairly quick. That's quick. So just to be clear, the next step is this shall go to the tweaks. Mm -hmm. And our mailing goes out to the mm -hmm. area centers or sites. Mm -hmm. And then she and I have a meeting scheduled with them. I think it's September 9th. Mm -hmm. okay. And then by the end of that week, we'll be looking for some sort of commitment. One way or another, and then we can get back to you on the 15th, which is our next okay. meeting. Okay, very good. Enough to you on mm -hmm. Thank you. Excuse me, are there any handouts of this proposed guidelines for the uh, me sure or the... they're available after the fact. You just request one. Oh, at, like a yeah. public records request or just... I don't know. I mean, if we've got extras, I'm sure we can just hand one out to you at the end of it. All right. Yeah, mine, I just print it off. <coughs> or make, or make copies, make copies for are. yeah people that are here. I right. tell you the truth, I'd rather not this one be released yet because this one's going to be tweaked. Wow. So once she's done with the other one... Uh, I'd rather not have something. There's two different copies floating around, one online or one in other people's hands. I realize, but it probably says proposed down there or something. Yeah, it doesn't say anything actually right now. Oh. Oh. So, 
Um, so anyways, um, uh, one thing I would request though is when this comes back, obviously we need uh, something from them, not that they, something first of all in their estate, and they've read all this and understand it, everything looks fine or whatever their issues may be, but <clears throat> again, something feedback from them saying this is what we require, payment schedule, minimum number of students, that kind of thing. So we understand completely what they're looking at. Too. Okay. And then you're going to put something in here on the um, facility um, security. security. Okay. All right, anything else, anybody on that one? No. No? Okay, we'll move on. Approve individual employment contracts for 2014-15. Second. Okay, the first and second. Are you doing this now? Yeah, and I'll record, re oh, got also record, record it, yes. Thank you. Okay, and we've got, uh, I'm going to kill the names here. Is it uh, Amy uh, Cook? Cook. Cook? Yeah. Brian Thule, Barry Henricks, Tanya Myers, Joey Gibney, and Leanne Donowski. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions, anyone? Yeah. Discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Would be a 4 0. All right, next item of discussion accept resignations. We have, uh, well, of course, we need a motion. Awesome. Motion by Don. Second. Seconded. Anybody discussion? Okay, we have uh, resignations. Jennifer Lemke, part time special ed aide. Uh, Accepted full-time position. Brenda Pendleton, second grade teacher, Evergreen, accepted position in another district. Becky DeMuth, part-time PE teacher, accepted new position with more hours. Trisha Stuker, part-time uh, title aide, accepted a different position with another employer. Any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Be a 4-0. Uh, I assume this is a, oh, I'm parked off right now, right? Uh, next item, approve open enrollment exception applications. Looking for a motion. I'll so move. Motion by Doug. Second. Second Dawn. Discussion? We have down here one family moving into Evergreen early October, wishes to start school in September. Two families wish to remain at Call, Washington Caldwell. Both of the, uh, both have been there a few years. Um, one family wishes to remain in Burlington, has never attended WGSD. One family wishes to continue in McGuanago, has been there three years. One family wishes to attend uh, Evergreen from Racine, moving into district in early October. One family wishes to remain at Trailside from Drought. One family wishes to remain at Woodfield from Greenfield. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. 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 That'd be a 4 0. Any more business? In that case, the uh, board will entertain a motion to convene into closed session pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 1985 1 CEF to discuss assignment and competition, uh, compensation of specific public employees, discuss personnel, uh, excuse me, discuss personal history of two students and a public employee and to discuss and evaluate competitive bids from HR consultants, interview two vendors, decide whether to interview additional vendors. Is this an opportunity where the parents that have chosen to attend tonight have an opportunity to speak? We I have, know it's not on your agenda. Yeah, we but don't have anything on the agenda for... Before um, you go into closed session, I'm assuming that's what that meant? Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, we have nothing on the agenda tonight for uh, public participation. Well, I just want to make it known then that yep. we're all here because we are disgusted with the turnover in this district. Brenda Pendleton was here for 18 years, yep. did not leave for a huge pay increase. She's driving further to work. Nope. This has got to end. And yep. all of these people here are in 100% agreement. It's <coughs> disgusting. We, we've heard everybody. We guarantee we hear you very uh, well. And we're trying to work towards that right now. And that's where we're meeting with people right now in closed session. So hopefully we can uh, 
I'll stave off any further everybody, folks. But there should be an opportunity for us to have some sort of say so you can truly hear. Yeah, well, it will be at the next uh, board meeting, board meeting, which is in two weeks. Yeah, and by then we'll have uh, outcome of this evening. We'll know what's going on. We'll be able to share more with you. I'd also like to bring one other agenda item, and it needs to, if it needs to be on the next agenda, because we've spoken about this a long time ago, right after Sandy Hook, about the security in the buildings. Okay. Evergreen does not appear to be doing what the other schools are doing for lockdown. The parents that have approached WASP, WASP had said they were didn't know what to do, okay. who well, to talk to. So we have to talk about the yeah. fact that yet again, we have locked fobs, and then the doors are wide open again, and then it's locked down inside, then they're wide open again. Okay. And so, you know, we have to put that on the agenda again. Yeah, but I would suggest that we'll put that on the agenda for um, <coughs> policy and curriculum. And we'll take care of that at the next uh, meeting for policy and curriculum. And the next cycle meeting is when? I believe the 15th. 15th? 15th of the month. Okay. All right. And we do know why everybody's here. I am personally, my son Owen, didn't have a teacher tonight. So I fully understand why everybody's upset. Um, we are definitely going to do our best to get to the bottom of it, understand how that can happen, um, because it's embarrassing. It, there's no doubt about that. And it's unfair to the kids who expected to go to class tonight and meet a teacher that didn't. It's unfair to the parents who now have to deal with it and um, everything that goes along with it. So rest assured, I am going to do my best and everything I can to get to the bottom with it, of it. And I appreciate everybody walking over here because I know you're doing it for your kids and that's why you're here. So thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, you. It starts with self-reflection, my friend. Mm -hmm. Self-reflection. It's pretty sad when my eight and a half year old looks at me and says, why are all the teachers leaving? Who had Brendan Hamilton? Two of my three. It's not right. Yeah, consistency you know, is the key here. here. Okay. No, we did not. Okay. Good luck, motion. Awesome. Second. 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 Any discussion? Tom? I would assume we don't know what that is on the. Yeah. Okay. Um, any discussion? All in favor, signify by aye. 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 aye.